Hi everyone, Leanne here from Jada Blossom and I am going to show you how to put together the Gnome Dyes, the new Gnome Dyes Christmas Add-ons 1. So, you know, this is really simple and straightforward, but I thought I'd go over it. So you need to use the Girl Gnome Dyes or the Boy, boy Gnome no, blah, 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 or the Boy Gnome Dyes to put them together. Okay, so first of all, I'm going to put together this little Santa hat, and um, that is cut out of pure poppy cardstock from Paper Tray Ink, and the white is white cardstock from Paper Tray Ink, and that black shadow layer, that I, base layer that I use from the Gnome Dice, um, that is just American Crafts black cardstock. Okay, so I'm just going to add the little pom-pom on using my art glitter glue and reverse tweezers. There you have it. Now this little belt is cut out of Paper Tray Ink black cardstock. And I'm going to pop that on. And it goes on the hat. There. And we're going to pop that on. And then the little buckle goes on the hat as well. Because with the boy gnome, remember, you don't really see his body so much. Eh? It's covered in beard. I should have tried it maybe with the, with the girl gnome. Maybe see if it would work on the dress. I didn't think of doing that. But anyway... Okay, so now I'm going to build the gnome. You know, you always start with the beard on the boy gnomes. It's just easier that way, right? Uh, you can pop down um, your hat. Your hat usually lines up with the top of the beard. So there you go. And then I will cut off the overhang of the hat, like whatever's, you know, not showing. But remember, it always lines up with the beard. There you go, and I'll pop it down with my um, acrylic block there, just to make sure it sticks down well. Now I'm putting together the mittens, same, th same thing, pure poppy cardstock and white cardstock from Paper Tray Ink with art glitter glue. So I'm just going to put the mittens together and I'll weight them down just to make sure they dry nice and flat. I'm kind of crazy like that. Now I like to either stick, <clears throat> excuse me, I like to either, um, you know, pop up the mustache and then keep the nose flat or I'll stick the mustache down flat and pop up the nose. So like that's kind of what I do. Um, sometimes I pop up both, but remember that gives you a lot of dimension. So it depends if you want that much dimension, you know, on your project. So there you go. I did pop it up with dimensionals, uh, just the mustache that time. Now the legs, you see, it's kind of fun, right? It's a big long legs. Um, I cut them out of that Pure Poppy cardstock. I'm loving these long legs. So just so you have some options with these gnomes, it's just lots of fun. So the legs were cut out of the paper tray ink pure poppy and the boots are cut out of paper tray ink black cardstock. And now what you want to do is you want to cut off those little nubs that are under the beard that the feet normally get stuck to. And then you can choose what to do with your legs. You can either have them going out to the side, you could cut them in half and stick them out further to the side, or you can have him standing up straight and have his little mitts like that. Isn't that cute? Okay, now I'm going to put together the, the Mrs. Claus. I'm using the Girl Gnome dies. Remember, you always wanna start with the dress. So you line up the dress, that's from the Girl Gnome dies. And then um, I always you know, work my way up from there. So I add my little face. Then next I go ahead and I usually choose the hat, but I'm gonna put on this little apron first, because why not, right? The apron is cut out of paper tray white cardstock. The dress is cut out of gingham linen, rainbow petites prints from Doodlebug. The little face is P13 Skin Tones pad. Okay, so now I'm going to pop on the little feet. I've got two little black shoes cut out of um, black paper tray cardstock. Now I have some gray hair that's just cut out of American Crafts uh, cardstock. And what I do is I'm going to line it up to where I think it's going to be. And then I'm going to cut off that shadow layer, whatever sticks out past. Now I'm going to add on this cute little hat, cut out of paper tray ink white cardstock again. Just making sure it's lined up where I'd like it. Kind of fun, right? And I have glasses cut out of darker gray cardstock from, I believe it's close to my heart. That cardstock, I had it on my desk from an earlier project. So any, any colors, well, you could have made black glasses or silver glasses, whatever you like. Okay, so now I'm going to pop up her little nose. That's also cut out of that P13 um, Skin Tones stamping pad. 
And there is my little um, Mrs. Claus. So now I'm going to add on this little piece of holly. And uh, the, little, the little berries are cut from Paper Trank Pure Poppy. And the green is cut from Doodlebug's Grasshopper cardstock. So there we go. Isn't that kind of cute? And I'm going to pop that on her hat because why not, right? We're going to decorate her hat. Isn't she cute? And I'll just weigh that down. She's a sweetie. Okay, so now I'm going to show you how to put ahead, uh, go ahead and put, put together the uh, little reindeer. So I went ahead and I cut out um, our gnome dies, our boy gnome dies, and I cut out a red hat from Paper Tray Ink again. And I started with the beard, you know, worked my way up. And I'm going to add on, give him a little red nose, kind of thinking like, you know, Rudolph. Why not, right? It's kind of fun. He's wearing a red nose. And then I cut out his um, antlers from, um, his antlers were cut out of, what is that? Rainbow Petite Prince um, from Doodlebug. It's kind of like a brown check, a brown gingham. And then his little ears were cut out of the reverse side. So the linen side of that. And then the little pink um, inner, inner parts of the ear were cut out of Doodlebug's Rainbow Petite Prints, the dot stripe, and I believe I used the dot side. But, you know, any pink cardstock would work, right? I just thought, you know, I'm probably going to end up putting these gnomes on some Doodlebug cardstock, so I wanted to choose, or some Doodlebug paper, so I wanted to choose some matching, um, you know, stuff for when I put them together. That's all. So now I'm going to put together the little ears. Aren't they cute? Just too cute. The little antlers are in place. So you can decorate the little hat. You know, this would be cute on the little girl gnome too. I just decided to do the boy gnome. So I'm just going to add those little inners to the ears with my reverse tweezers. So, you know, pretty easy stuff. And then I do choose to pop these ears up, but you could have glued them flat. You know, whatever makes you happy. Right, so I'm just going to pop on those ears. And then I think this is so cute, just so cute. Isn't that sweet? Just a sweet little design. Okay, so now I'm putting together the, um, the, the candy cane. And I cut out the back layer with red, pure poppy, and the top layer with white. Now, you know, had I been thinking about it, I probably would have done it oppositely. So I probably would have cut it out of white and put the red on top, but you know, whatever you like. But this is the candy cane. It looks kind of more white than red. I didn't even think about that until after I was done this video that I probably should have done it the opposite way, but you know, whatever. So there we go. I popped up the little hands with that same P13. So you could have these little images holding whatever you'd like. So now I'm going to put together the little bulb. So I cut out the background layer um, and then I cut out the, um, the background layer of the bulb with American Crafts Christmas foil in silver. And then I'm going to, uh, I, the little bulb was cut out of pure poppy, and then I'm going to pop up the hands from that P13 stamping pad again. So, you know, pretty easy stuff. I like to use the, the um, shadow layer where it has the hands showing because it just makes it easy to, to stick the hands on these little images. So now I have my little reindeer holding that little bulb. Why not, right? So now I'm going to put together the little cookie. So I cut that out of Nina Desert Storm and Paper Trank Dark Chocolate cardstock. And then I'm going to weight those down once they were glued. I did cut out the milk bottle out of the shadow layer. I cut out of um, vellum. And then I cut the milk jug out of vellum and then I cut the milk itself out of white paper train cardstock so I was kind of going for like you know a see-through bottle look right and then I'm going to pop up the little hands that p13 stamping pad again and you can have mrs. Claus holding holding this you know holding a cookie in one hand milk in the other or Santa or the reindeer whatever you want right it's kind of fun so I'm just going to layer those up and I will weight that down to make sure it glues down nice and flat. And like I said, popping up the hands with Stampin' Up Dimensionals again. And I'm working on my, um, you know, stamping pad again. Now, all my die cutting today was done with my Gemini as per usual. Isn't that cute? So there she is. She can hold both. Okay. So now I am putting together Santa's list. 
and I'm using American Crafts cream cardstock. So kind of fun. There you have it. And I'm just going to glue down the layers. And it kind of makes it look a little bit more dimensional, right, with all these layers for the list. And this is for Santa to be holding his list, checking to see who's naughty or nice, right? It's always fun. And I will pop up the little hands um, with Stampin' Up! Dimensionals, as you can see. Isn't that cute? So you can have him holding the list with his hands, or you could have even used his little mitts to do this whatever you like. So thank you so much for stopping by. Be sure to hop on over to the Jada Blossom blog. Be inspired by the design team, the Jada Blossom store to get your hands on these amazing dies. And um, I do have a second video for you today um, with the Christmas add-on dies too. So you want to check that out. And thank you as always for watching my videos. I really appreciate it. These gnomes were so much fun and um, I hope you'll enjoy them too. So thank you and we will see you soon in my next video. Bye everyone.